Hi there, and welcome to Safe Option Strategies. My name is Jeffrey Dunyan. I am the owner and founder of Safe Option Strategies. And wherever you're at, uh, whether you're watching this presentation live or uh, I know that the majority of the people that find their way to this uh, video and this free presentation are probably watching a recording of it. Uh, I only do it live every two or three weeks uh, and then 10 times as many people will watch that recording as, as the live version. But whether you're with me live right now, uh, those of you that are welcome, I appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule. If you're watching a recording of this, I, I know you're still taking time out of a busy schedule to do this, and I appreciate you being here. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time with introductions. You, Your time is valuable. I want to respect that. I know for a fact that, um, I, I know for a fact that you get a lot of stuff come into your inbox. You, you see a lot of offers, you see a lot of presentations, you you hear different gurus that are telling you why their system is gonna make you you know, a million dollars in a year or how you can become a millionaire with just a few simple steps or you know, how to turn a thousand dollars into a hundred thousand dollars by next week or you know, I'm, obviously I'm exaggerating. One, one of my favorites honestly is, uh, you know, I, I started out with $4,500 and in two short years, I'm making $50,000 a year income. I, folks, I know you get bombarded with stuff and I'm gonna skip all the BS. I'm gonna skip all the phony stuff. I'm gonna show you some things that work and that work consistently and that work in any market condition. If you are currently trading the US stock markets or if you have any desire to trade the US stock markets, uh, whether it's with stocks, whether it's with options, whether you want to do some futures trading, whether you want to do some commodities trading, I am going to show you some strategies and I'm going to show you why they work in any market conditions and how you can be profitable consistently no matter what the market is doing. One of my biggest frustrations when when I have looked at other presentations and other programs and and you know some between 15 and 20 years ago uh, I went through a $35,000 education program and I got a lot of good basic knowledge but man it wasn't worth anywhere near the kind of money that I spent on it it was so frustrating but I've, I've put together something through years of practice and through years of teaching that is proven to work in any market condition. And, and the biggest frustration with all these gimmicks that you hear about, even if some of the stories are true, I, I don't know that it's untrue that someone took $2,000 and they're making two and a half million dollars a year. Now, I don't know that that's untrue. I suspect it is, but I don't know that for a fact. I do know this. It cannot be taught and it cannot be duplicated because you have to flat out get lucky and risk everything you have in every trade you place to get those kind of returns. When you hear about people that have made that kind of money in the markets, you have taken a thousand or two thousand or five thousand dollars and turned it into fifty thousand a month income, or, or they've turned it into two or three or four million dollars, even if what they're telling you is true what they're lying about and then there's just no other way to say it what they're lying about is that it cannot be taught it cannot be duplicated because you can't teach someone how to get flat out lucky in the market so let me let me show you some things that i promise you under any market conditions under any market circumstances what i'm going to show you will work and that's because I've proven over the past 15 plus years that it does work no matter what the markets do. If you look at this uh, this stock chart of the last six months and, and I've got I've got listed here you know the last eight weeks it's been a little more than eight weeks back uh, that we've had some of these frustrations but you know we, we had the markets reaching near or at some all-time highs and then all of a sudden we had this ugly sell-off in the month of May, you know the month of May, so a lot of you listening probably already know this, you know the month of May was the worst May we've had in, in multiple decades. If you wanna think back to fourth quarter of last year, I know that's seven months in the rear view mirror now, but if you wanna look back to fourth quarter of last year, you know that's the worst fourth quarter the market has had since the Great Depression and the worst December that the US markets have ever had on history. And you know what's interesting? The reason I'm pointing that out, you know what's interesting is when when the markets are right here, I get just a crazy number of people 
looking at safe option strategies and looking at what we do and, and getting involved in our program on some level or another. And you know, when things have just done this, people tend to not look very close because when this has just happened or this has just happened or this has just happened, everyone's feeling good about themselves. I got it all figured out. I've, I've, I've gotten back everything I lost down to here. I've gotten back. So I'm doing good. I know what I'm doing. And they forget that feeling of watching their profits and watching their principal and watching their retirement disappear and the frustration that comes with that. I'm going to show you how to get rid of that completely. We have never had a, a, a better time or a better opportunity in the US markets than right now. And, and regardless of whether we continue to go up for a little while or whether or not that next shoe drops, there are phenomenal opportunities to make money in the markets. I'm gonna show you through a method called collar trading. Now, some of you know a little bit about collar trading and what that is. I'm gonna show you a very different way to collar trade. Through some dynamic collar trading, I'm gonna show you how you can trade with little to zero risk. Can you imagine such a thing? That's a bold statement, I know it is, but you can actually trade with zero risk in the market and still have a chance to make phenomenal profit. For those, now, if you know anything about collar trading, if you know anything about it at all, you know there's some stock ownership involved here. I know some people don't wanna own stock. I, I know from years of doing this that some people will view a presentation like this of mine and, and I say to them, now I'm gonna show you how to have zero risk and you're gonna own some stock and their very first thought is, I don't wanna own stock. I just wanna trade options. I just wanna do some futures trading. I just wanna do some commodities trading. Okay, that's fine. This is not for everybody. For those that don't wanna own stock, I'm gonna show you how to be much more consistent, much more profitable in option only trading through a process of adjusting trades. Now, adjusting has been a buzzword for a number of years. It's become a very popular buzzword. I know of at least eight or nine companies that are competitors of mine that talk about trade adjusting, but I will tell you from personal experience and from the testimony of numerous students of mine that they don't know how to teach adjusting trades. They don't know how to teach you the right way and the right time and the right strategies to adjust trades such that you can truly maximize that. We've been doing it for close to 20 years. I've been teaching it for nearly 15 years now. Okay. Last thing I'm going to cover in this presentation, I run into very few people that do not love the idea of creating cash flow in their portfolio. If their portfolio is five or $10,000, they would love to figure out a way to just add five, six, seven hundred, a thousand dollars a month to their income. If their portfolio is 50 to a hundred thousand dollars, they're looking for a way to make a consistent amount of cash flow every single week, every single month, so that it will pay the bills, it will pay their lifestyle. And, and I'll and, and it's appealing, it's attractive, it sounds fantastic, it sounds like this wonderful thing. I can quit my job, I can never stress about money again. I've built up this little nest egg, and now I can just trade it and make consistent cash flow. I'm gonna punch some big holes in this idea of what most people are teaching when it comes to creating cash flow. And I'm gonna show you a more consistent way to do it and a safer way to do it. And, and that all leads to a much more profitable way to do it. Okay, the last thing I'm going to cover in this presentation is what it's going to cost to not know this stuff. Listen, you, you're taking time out of your schedule. You, you're, you're busy, I know you are. You've got other things you could be doing. I'm going to just be brutally honest with you right now, and that's something that you don't get oftentimes in these types of presentations. I'm going to be really brutally honest with you. I want to show you enough in this presentation to get you interested in participating with safe option strategies in some way or another. That's my goal. That's my hope. I'm being brutally honest with you because some people get really frustrated when they listen to a presentation like this and they and they say, I thought this free class was going to unlock all the secrets that I ever needed to know, everything I ever wanted to know about being profitable in the market. I thought it was going to be covered in this free class. 
So I, I'm, I'm going to take the opposite approach. And instead of hoodwinking you, instead of making you feel like I was deceiving you, I'm going to teach you some good things that you can apply starting right now today to your trading. I'm not exaggerating that. I will, but, but let me be very clear. This is an introduction class. I want you to get interested enough in what we're doing that you'll take a closer look at what we offer in the way of a complete education and complete mentoring system and complete advisory system where anyone with any background can do this and can profit from it and can be successful from it. That's my goal. If you, I, I, I'm, I'm going to ask you for a little bit of a trade-off. Since I am being brutally honest with you about what my intentions are here, I'm going to ask one thing in return. Watch the presentation in its entirety. Watch it through to the end. If you get to the very end of this presentation and, and we haven't struck a chord with something we're doing, at least enough to get you to take a closer look at our programs and the different programs we offer and how they work, if, if we cannot find a way to pique your interest and get you to look at that, I want you to know right now up front, I wish you nothing but the best of success. I wish you nothing but the best of luck. And I hope you find whatever you're looking for to, to improve your trading. Can, can we be honest with each other that the only reason you're taking time right now to watch this presentation is that you want to make more money in your portfolio? You either want to stop losing money or you want to find a way to make more money. Sometimes it's a combination. Okay. If if you'll, I, I've I've been upfront. I've been honest with you about my intentions. I'm a straight shooting guy. I don't like all the hype. I don't like all the BS. Everything I'm going to show you in the next 30 minutes or so is working, and it's working consistently, and it is working for anyone who wants to learn it. All right, let's dive in. There's a lot of information to cover. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. When we talk about zero risk trading, I know there are a lot of people that roll their eyes just at the mention of zero risk trading. Haven't you heard all these disclaimers? Trading stocks and options comes with risk. You know, uh, don't don't trade money you can't afford to lose. Well, who can afford to lose money? You know, my my lawyers make me print a disclaimer at the beginning of all of my classes for my students that say that says, you know, something to the effect of trading comes with risk and you're responsible for your own losses. I have to do that legally to protect myself. But the reality is I'm teaching my students how to set up trades that can be done with zero risk in them. And this is how to do it. I'm going to I'm going to go back a little bit and show you a couple of examples. But for starters, for those of you that may not know what a collar trade is, let me teach you really quickly. A collar trade is stock ownership with a long put option that is used exactly like you would use an insurance policy. I'll show you that in just a minute. A short call option is in place at the same time, a covered call basically, that is going to help pay for all or at least a good portion of your long put option. And collar trades can be structured and set up with little or no risk. Let me show you an example. This is from a few weeks back. This I, I didn't, and I'll show you why I left this one in place. Um, but I'm going to do something. Uh, if we have time, I'm going to go to a live web page and show you that this wasn't just a, I don't want anyone thinking that what I'm showing you here that's a few weeks old is like a one-time fluke sort of thing. You can find trades to do this on every single day of the week. You can find trades that this will work on. Uh, a couple of months back, we set up a trade on Micron. At the time, Micron was trading at $33.23. That's our stock ownership. We got some long put options at a 34 strike price. And this is important. A 34 strike price, we paid $2.64 each for those long puts. One contract is equal to 100 shares, but the price per share is $2.64. We then got someone to pay us $2.38 a share for the right to buy our stock away from us at $37 a share. That's our, if you've done covered calls, you know how this works. That was our short call. So this is money out, this is money out, this is money in. Once we put all of that together, our average cost per share was $33.49. The cost of the stock, plus the cost of the long put per share, 
minus the credit we took in for the short call. We had an average cost per share of 33.49 with the right to sell at 34. I'm going to show you in a second how this works exactly like an insurance policy works. We had zero risk until the expiration of these options. There was no possibility for us to lose money between the time we set this up and the date of the expiration of these options. By the way, if you're with me live, you know that this is just a few days away right now. We set this up about six weeks ago. We are literally just a few days away from when these options expire. Now, if, if Micron during this time, if Micron had taken off and traded strong to the upside, someone could have called our shares away from us for $37. We would have made about 10.5% in the trade. If Micron would have tanked and gone down further, we had the right to sell at $34 no matter how low the stock went. Stock could have gone to $5 a share. We still have the right to sell it at $34. And someone else paid us for the majority of the cost of that insurance. We set up a zero risk trade that had a chance to profit nicely. If you're looking at that 10.5%, consider this. It, because some people look at that and they say, well, that's not all that much. I want to make a lot more than 10% in my portfolio. Folks, that's 10% on one single trade that isn't going to be open for more than a month and a half. And you know what the you know what the indexes average at the end of last year because of that horrible fourth quarter we had, because of that horrible December we had. Hmm. Our three major indexes, the Dow, the S&P, the Nasdaq, they were all down on the year. They were all negative. If this was all you could make in a year, how far would you have outperformed the markets by? This is the tip of the iceberg. This is honestly just the, the tip of the iceberg right here. Let me tell you really quickly. Some of you know this. It may be a little bit, seem a little bit elementary for you. This is for people that aren't certain how this works. And, and I want to tell you right now, this presentation is not meant to take the time to teach all of this in detail. I want to give you something that you could use immediately, and I want you to benefit from that. But, but this is not teaching you everything in how this works. I'll give you a quick lesson, though, on this. When we use a long put option like an insurance policy, think, think about an insurance policy for your car. You go out and buy a, a $40,000, $50,000 car today isn't even considered a real expensive car. You go out and buy a $40,000, $50,000 car today, you're going to buy you're going to buy some insurance. You're going to pay monthly or quarterly or semi-annually or annually for that insurance. You're going to buy insurance for a period of time. It's going to cover your asset for the value of that vehicle, and there's going to be a cost associated with it. There's going to be a premium associated with it. A long put is almost exactly the same. If we went out and bought stock for $100 a share, say we went out and got a few shares of stock for $100 a share, we could go out and buy a long put option valued at $100. We might pay anywhere, depending on the time frame. If, if that option was going to expire in three months or six months or a year, obviously we're paying more if it's expiring a year later, just like with our car insurance. But we buy that long put option. And so with the price of the stock plus the price of the insurance, our average price per share is $102 right here in this example. Let's say that stock dropped to $50. Someone ran into your car in a parking lot. Your car was parked in a parking lot. Someone wasn't paying attention. They whipped into that parking lot and they smashed it. And suddenly in the blink of an eye, half the value of your car is gone. Well, that's why you have insurance. Right? That's part of the reason you have insurance. Because as, as the value of your asset has been damaged now, suddenly that insurance policy is worth a lot more money. When the price of a stock drops, the value of the long put option goes up proportionately. Okay, you get, I tried to I tried to click away from that a little too fast. As the price of the stock goes down, the value of that long push option goes up proportionally. So when your stock is worth fifty dollars a share, it's lost half its value. Your long put option has doubled its value. Well, it's done done more than double its premium. It's gone up the same amount this has gone down. And that's how you salvage your asset. That's your insurance policy so that when that stock tanks, 
you don't take a big loss. So fast forward a little bit, or actually, excuse me, back up a little bit. Prior to the trade I showed you on Micron a minute ago, we did a trade a little bit earlier than that because there are variations of this that you can use. So I've, I've shown you how to basically protect yourself. Let me show you how you can make some actual money on this. We set up a trade similar to this on Micron, but we did something a little bit different. We got long put options and we actually got more than we needed for the stock. So we got 500 shares of stock, five short call contracts, and we did eight long put contracts. When Micron went down dramatically, right down to the expiration of those options, the stock had dropped $9.68 a share. It was down 22%. We were in the hole, $4,800 on our stock. Our long puts had gone up, not all of that, but remember they were paid for by those short calls. So the profit we had in the long puts, the profit we had in the short calls far exceeded what we lost on the shares. And we did a little tweak to this whole thing. And we actually, we still had the ability to make a decent profit had Micron skyrocketed up after setting up this trade, but we just tweaked it a little bit. And we ended up making a slightly bigger percentage when Micron fell. There are ways to set this up so it can profit you in either direction. Now that's, again, th this is just the starting point. This is just a simple way to be close to zero risk or in some cases, zero risk. And you don't care whether the stock goes up or down. And this, this is really important. One of the reasons I pick on these competitors of mine a little bit, and I say that they can't duplicate for you what they have done for themselves is because many of these systems, most of these systems that they're trying to teach you, they work when things are moving a certain direction. I've said this many, many times, and I'm not the one that coined this. I heard it years ago. I believe it because I've seen it. I've experienced it. Anyone can make money when the markets are going up. There are some people who know how to make money when the markets are going down. There are very, very few people who know how to make money when the markets are swinging back and forth. And have we not seen a lot of that in the last several years, the swings back and forth? Overall, the markets have been up, but people get stressed out of their minds and they, they, they lose huge amounts of money. And, and then they struggle to make it back when there's this constant back and forth. What I'm showing you is something that works no matter what direction the market is going and can be easily adjusted when the market turns and suddenly goes the other direction. Now there's an even better way to make money with this strategy. Most people know about dollar cost averaging. So for, forget about this part for just a second. Most people know about dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging is simply this. You buy a stock at hundred dollars a share, stock drops, and maybe you pick up another share at $80 a share. And it's continuing down and maybe you pick up another share at 60 and maybe the stock sort of settles and starts to bounce at 50 and you've got one share that's worth $100 and one share that's worth $80 and one share that's worth $60. And what you ultimately have here is you've invested $240 for three shares. So your average price per share is $80. Okay, that's that's great. That's dollar cost averaging. There's two problems with dollar cost averaging the way you've probably been taught or the way you understand it. Two big problems are this. Number one, you started out with an investment of $100 and now you've got to come up with another $140 just to get this thing down to a cost per share that's still $30 above where the stock bottomed out. That stock still has to come back $30. That's a 60% increase from $50 just to get you back to break even. And you had to come up with a lot more money. This doesn't sound like a lot when you're buying one or two or three shares, but what if you're buying a hundred shares? This becomes $10,000. And right here, you have to have another $8,000. And here you have to have another $6,000. You got to come up with 20, with, with 14,000 more dollars to get your average price down to $80 per share. And that can be really, really difficult to do. 
for a lot of people, the problem with dollar cost averaging is they run out of money somewhere along the way, and they still need the stock to have a massive percentage rebound after it's fallen before they get their money back. When you take what I've showed you up to this point and you add it into the process, you start dollar cost averaging with puts. Let me show you what happens. You buy that stock for $100 a share and you get your insurance policy. And remember, we're going to do a short call so someone else pays for it. And then when the stock goes down and that insurance or that long put has gone up, you're going to sell that long put for all that profit. And that's what you're going to reinvest back into more stock. And when you do that, you're increasing your number of shares, but you don't have to come up with more money. There, you, at no point do you have to find if, – if you did this with 100 shares and you invested 10,000 and then you got to try and come up with another 14,000, uh-uh, not the case. You're going to sell long put options that will bring you in more than enough money to buy more stock, and so you're, you're doubling your number of shares without increasing your investment at all. Your average price per share comes down – to 51 bucks per share. So when that stock is bouncing off 50 and it turns and starts to go back up, you're profitable in the first dollar or two that that thing moves to the upside. If that stock ever gets back to $100, you've doubled your money. Let me show you how this works. Okay, this is a real trade, a real trade that we did with our student, every student of safe option strategies back in. March of last year had the opportunity to follow us step for step on this trade. So this isn't something we're making up. I've got hundreds of students who have done this exact trade. When you look at this chart, before I go too far, when you look at this chart, Micron was up in the neighborhood of 60 to 62 dollars and 50 cents a share back here. And and I'll fast forward to where we're at today, but as of April, as of a few months ago, Micron was trading around 40 and it had been as low as 30. When you look at this chart right here, just barely over a one year chart, what, were, what, what would have been the two absolute worst times you could have gotten into shares of Micron? <laughs> right here and right here. But on this day right here, no one has a crystal ball and knows that this is going to happen. On this day right here, no one has a crystal ball and knows that this is going to happen. And we didn't either. We had reason to believe that on their next earnings report, Micron might have a continued move up. Two worst places to buy would have been right here and here. Guess where we got in? Right about here. <laughs> hey, in March of 2018, we recommended to any of our students that wanted to follow this on this trade that they get 400 shares and five long put contracts and three short call contracts. A little variation. We didn't go equal dollar, you know, contract for contract. In April, we had enough money in our long puts that we sold them, and we added to those original 400 shares, we added 100 shares. Didn't have to come up with an additional investment to do that. We simply added the shares. In May, we had to make an adjustment that was just a simple roll of the long puts and short calls. In August, we were able to add another 100 shares. In September, we were able to add another 100 shares, just doing what I've showed you up to this point. And, and every one of these moves, we sent it out to our students, and we said, tomorrow morning when the market's open, here's what we're going to do. So they all had the ability to follow along with us and do it at the same time we did. In November, we had to do a simple roll of the long puts. We're fast forwarding now. In January of this year, we added another 100 shares. The end of January, we had to do another roll of short calls. In February, we had to roll some long puts and short calls. We increased the number of contracts of our short calls. Fast forward to where we're at right now today. As of today's close, Micron is trading at 43.07. Just about a month ago, we added 200 more shares on that most recent dip and added new long puts to it. And we have a thousand shares now. We have an average price of 26.75 per share. 
Micron is down $16.62 from the day that we bought it. It's down over 27% from the time we bought in, and we are profitable a little over 35%, and we have more than – well, okay, I, I apologize. I made a mistake. We have a little more than doubled. I, I didn't mean to deceive anyone. We have a little bit more than doubled our share ownership. Since we got in, we started with 400 shares. We're at a thousand shares of Micron now, and very profitable in a stock that is still down 27% from where we got in. Okay, here are some other collar trades that we've done during that same time. We're up 84% on Apple. We have not been in this one and this one nearly as long. We just got into AMD. At the first of the year, we just got into Ford a couple months ago. We're going to get our first earnings report coming up with Ford uh, that will give us a chance to really see if the stock takes off to one side or the other. And whichever direction it goes, we're going to be in good shape. 66% up on First Solar. There's that Micron trade that's, that's closer to 35% at today's closing price. Nike, we're up 82%. Under Armour, we're up 91%. Every one of these trades I'm showing you right now, every one of our students was able to follow us in these trades. They didn't have to follow us in all of them. They pick and choose which ones they want to do. They can do collar trades of their own, and we'll teach them how to do it. More important than the profit in these positions is that none of these positions ever had any significant risk of loss. And in many cases, these trades were in place with zero possible risk at all. We were always protected from those drops. We didn't stress out or worry when the markets had the worst fourth quarter since the Great Depression, we did not stress out and worry when they had the worst December in the history of the U.S. markets. We didn't worry this past May. That's real recent. We didn't worry or stress when we had the worst May in a couple of decades. That's the power of what we're doing, and this can be taught to anyone, and it can be done in any market conditions. We've had long-term bearish markets if you want to go back to 2008 we've had flat markets i think 2013 and, and then 2018 the markets finished a little bit down uh we've had really strong markets 2009 was a huge recovery year 2017 was unbelievable that was a crazy big year 2019 is setting records already any of these market conditions this works in okay now there's always those people that say, yeah, but I don't want to own stock. Isn't it funny? I, I ask people a question all the time. I say, what if I could show you one thing you could do that's a little bit different that would guarantee you better results in your trading? And we, we intuitively, we instinctively say, yeah, of course. It's almost like a reflex. Of course I want to do something different if it helps me make more money in the markets. And then when I say, okay, I'm going to show you how to do this, but you're going to own some stock. No, I don't want to own stock. I don't have enough money in my portfolio to own stock. Folks, we're doing this with – we're doing these trades with uh, Ford Motors that's trading around $10 a share. I've got a student doing this trade right now with Snap. I think Snap is 6 or $7 a share. I might be off on that a little bit. I, I think Snap is, is in that same neighborhood of $10 or $15 a share. We're doing this with American Outdoor Brands Corporation down around $10 a share. We're also doing it with Apple, $205 a share. We've done it with Netflix in the past. Don't, don't think you can't afford the stock because this works with high price or low price stocks. In fact, let me do this real quick. I'm going to do something I don't normally do. If you'll bear with me for a minute, your screen is going to freeze for a moment here um, so that I can switch. I'm going to do something here. Bear with me. I'm going to jump over to a live web page right now. It's going to take me just a second to get there. I'm going to show you a trade you could do right now. To, this is for those of you that are live, and I know those of you that are watching a recording in the next week or two, You know, this opportunity might feel like it's a little bit past you. But those of you that are live with me right now, I'm going to show you a trade you could do right now today. In fact, earlier today, I sent this out to my students. Every student at Safe Option Strategies got this trade earlier today. All right, I've, let, me, let me jump to this live screen right here. Make sure you're seeing it on your side. Okay. This is a live web page. Okay, this is the closing price today for Twitter, $37.99. I hope you can see that. It might be a little small on your screen. $37.99. You know what Twitter is going to do in about a week and a half from right now today? Twitter is going to report their earnings. 
Do you know what Twitter historically does when they report their earnings? They move really, really big to the upside or they move way to the downside. You know what we did with all of our students with Twitter today? We sent out a recommendation to all of our students that they buy the stock for $37.99. I'm going to try and put this on the screen for you. We suggested that they buy the stock for $37.99, that they go out and buy 38 strike price long puts that at the very most would cost them $2.40. So we're going to add $2.40 to this. And then we recommended that at the same time, they go out and sell a short call with December expiration at the 40, I believe we said the 43 strike price that's going to pay a credit of at least, the minimum credit it's going to pay is at least 239. So we're going to subtract 239 from that. Look at how these numbers work out. You can see that that's just a penny off. We're going to take in one penny less than what we spend on the long puts versus the short calls. And that makes our average cost per share $38. And guess where we have the right to sell? Our long put option, our insurance policy to get us through this earnings report is at a 38 strike price. And we have an average cost of $38. Not counting the, the little bit of commission that we'll pay on this trade. Do you know we can do this? My students are going to put on this exact trade for zero risk because they have the right to sell at exactly what they're going to pay for the trade. Okay. I, I told I showed you an older example of Micron, but I'm telling you, I'm not, this is stuff you can find every single day of the week, every day of the week. You can find this. There are all sorts of trades that this works for companies, you know, stocks, you trade already probably. Okay. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to where we left off. Hopefully, uh, I've got to scroll down a little bit. Let's get back to where we left off. Your screen is still frozen, but I'm getting back to where we stopped, and I'll bring it right back on your screen. And, and then we'll jump away from the collar trading. I'll show you some cool stuff with option-only trading. Because some people, no matter what I show them, they, they still their interest is in option-only trading, and that's okay. And, and here's the trick with option-only trading. If you've traded options only, you know for a fact, I know you know this, when an option only trade goes against you, it can wipe you out in such a short period of time, it's scary, it's frightening how fast you can lose your money. Why is it you need to learn how to adjust trades and learn the right way to adjust trades? Okay, a lot of people are gonna teach you a lot of stuff. I'm gonna show you the right way to adjust trades. Every time we get into a trade, stocks, options, commodities, futures, Forex, uh, every time we get into a trade, we have a certain expectation of what we think the stock is going to do. Maybe we think the stock is going to go up. Maybe we think the stock is going to go down. Maybe we think it's going to stay a little bit flat. Maybe we don't care if it goes up or down, but we just can't afford to have it stay flat. Maybe we don't just need it to go down. Maybe the trade we put on needs it to go down really fast or go up really fast. We, we have an expectation of what we hope the stock does. And the problem is we never know. A few months back when Boeing was hitting all time highs at 440, none of you, none of the talking heads on TV, nobody knew that a second airline crash would take place, killing hundreds of people with the same model plane that it happened to a few months before. And what happened to Boeing stock? Oh, it took a hit. And this is where it was at April. You know, as of today's closing, I think it's down here around 350. They've come down like this and been bouncing around here and they just keep taking hits. But no one knew that back at that time. There was no way to know that. People struggle all the time with, with trading options because oftentimes three out of four trades, and I, and I do, my option trading is spread trading. If you're not familiar with what that is, I can teach that to you. I can teach you what spread trading. Spread trading is just a little bit lower risk than straight directional option trading, and spread trades can be adjusted if you learn the right way to adjust them. This is what so many people experience. Three out of four trades that they place are winning but that one out of four that's losing is actually costing them a winning portfolio. Oftentimes it's because they think they know what's gonna happen. Sometimes it's just some bad luck. 
Boeing, there was no reason to think Boeing was going to tank because no one had a crystal ball and knew that an airplane was going to go down out of the sky. Wrong trade, wrong time. That's that's not your fault. That's not a lack of doing your research. That's not a lack of due diligence. That's just being that's just some bad luck. And it happens to everybody from time to time. Most of the time, this scenario happens because you don't know how to adjust the trade. Or or sometimes you didn't set up a trade that could be adjusted. See, back when we back when we got into Boeing not knowing what it was going to do, we had a backup plan in case we got one of the scenarios we weren't expecting. That's essentially what a trade adjustment is. A trade adjustment, it, this is my definition of a trade adjustment. When we roll one or more of our options in a spread trade or a collar trade, or when we add a new option to an existing trade, such that the roll or the addition of that option changes the expectation or the direction and the target break even and the target profit of the trade. So we set up a trade with an expectation of one direction, but we got we have to have a backup plan. So many people go into a trade and their backup plan is I'll get out of it before I lose too much money. I'll get out of it before it costs me too much money. What if getting out of it without too much of a loss would have been getting out right here and the day after that airline crash, Boeing opened down here. They climbed back up partway through the day, but by the time, I mean, they, they were clear down. This might have been your safety spot. They were clear down here during the day. That's not a little ways, folks. That's between $425 and $360. That's $65 per share of your investment. And if you're trading options only, that's a way bigger hit than that percentage-wise. You've got to have that backup plan. This is what happens to too many people without the backup plan. They place a trade, they make a nice little profit, they take that profit, they reinvest it into what they started with. That's how I came up with the 5750 right there. Took the profit, added it to what I started with. Next trade had a little bit more in it, got a nice return, got a nice return, got a nice return. All of a sudden one goes against me. And if I'm trading options only, if you're trading options only, you know how fast this can happen. That's not an exaggeration. You're doing an option only trade, a spread trade, something you think has a little safety net in it. You can be down 50, 60, 70% in the blink of an eye when that thing goes against you. And if you don't have a backup plan, if you haven't learned the right way and the right time and the right adjustment to make, suddenly one out of four trades goes against you and you're at a net 35% loss from what you started with. When you learn the right trade to place at the right time and more importantly, the right backup strategy for that trade and you learn the right execution of that backup strategy, this is what happens. The dynamics change. You get that return, you reinvest it, you get that return, you reinvest it. All of a sudden one goes against you and because it was set up correctly and because you knew how to adjust it, you may not make any money on it. There may not be profit there. Sometimes there is. Sometimes our adjustments turn a trade into profit. Sometimes our adjustments take what would have been a 60 or 70% loss and cut it down to a 15% loss. That's manageable. When you've gone up 60%, <coughs> excuse me, on three prior trades, you're up 60% and you can manage and adjust a really, really bad trade down to only a 10 or 15% loss, that's a victory. But more often than not, our adjustments get us out without any loss. And on the same four trades placed on the same stock at the same time, with the same one out of four going against us, look at the difference in the end result just by not taking that big loss on that last trade. We're still reinvesting our profits. A lot of times we're putting on a trade that is similar, but there's a slight difference to it, and we'll jump out with a little bit less return. Did you notice these two were a little bit less than the two on the previous page? That's part of knowing the right trade to put on and when to get out so that it's less likely you even have to go to that adjustment. I'm willing to take a little bit smaller return in many cases knowing that I've got the right trade set up correctly and I can adjust it. It makes a huge difference in your trading, folks. You've got to learn to do it. I wish this presentation gave me time to show you 
a few trade adjustments. I'm going to do that a little bit with the cash flow stuff because the difference between our the we, we have I'll get into this in a minute, but the difference between our spread trade program at Safe Option Strategies and our cash flow program is that cash flow trades are you're in and out of them a little bit faster. You're doing a few more of them. The frequency of them is greater. You're taking smaller profits off the table quicker, but you're ultimately using the same adjustment strategies. And I'll give you an example of that in just a minute. One of the things that I run into daily in my conversations with people that have looked at safe option strategies with, with my emails that I exchange with people, um, a lot of people that are seeing, you know, that have seen a, uh, an introduction class like this one, they, they call me or they email me, and I hear this on a daily basis. They've been doing a cash flow system of some sort that uses primarily credit spreads. All they're doing, I, I know one program, a guy does a program that all he does is credit spreads on the indexes. And you know what? It works great until it doesn't. It takes one out of 10 trades to go against you and blow your profits out of the water. I have more students come to me from other education programs that have lost their shirt trying to do cash flow programs primarily with credit spreads. Now, I want to make it very clear. I still use credit spreads sometimes. I'm not, I'm not here telling you you should never use a credit spread again. There's a tremendous appeal to a credit spread because you're getting paid money to be in that trade. That's, that's the appeal. People look at it and say, look, you don't have to pay to be in this trade. You're going to get paid to be in this trade. You know what gets left out of that conversation and people either figure it out on their own or, or eventually someone tells them or most of the time they take some big losses and they realize that getting paid to be in a trade doesn't mean you don't have a big risk in that trade. Credit spreads are great when they work and they're a very difficult trade to adjust. They can be adjusted. There's ways to do it, but they're challenging to be, it's, it's challenging to adjust them when they go against you. Now, I want you to see what I did. If you look over here where this is highlighted in gray, this is the exact same trade we were looking at on the previous screen. This is the bull put spread we were looking at on Apple, the bull put spread we were looking at on Home Depot and on Nike. We've used the same strike price, the same expiration date, and all we've done is gone from a bull put spread to an in the money bull call. Now a bull call spread is a trade you pay to be in. You're not getting paid, you're paying. But look at this. There's the maximum amount of money we could have made on this credit spread. There's the maximum we could make on this debit spread. There's our risk on this credit spread. There's our risk on this debit spread. Is, do you see any difference in them? A couple pennies. There are a few pennies different. Our risk is almost identical. Our maximum possible profit is almost identical. Our return on risk, that's what you say when you're doing a credit spread, is almost exactly the same as our return on investment. And you want to know, the and, 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 it's, and it's similar with these ones. This one is close, not quite as good on the in-the-money bull call. Same here, not quite as good. This one's actually a little bit better. You want to know the big, giant, huge difference in these trades? Every one of these trades right here, the ones on this side and the ones over on this side, every one of them need the same trend for the same amount of time to make a very similar profit. The big, giant, huge difference is this. If this goes against you, it's very difficult to adjust. This is that one that can wipe you out 60, 70% in the blink of an eye. This one can be adjusted with a simple roll of the option and a trend against you is relatively speaking easy to adjust and likely to get you back down to a break even or a small profit. When you combine the strategies that we teach for option only trading, you shorten the duration on them, you do a few more of them and you jump out with slightly smaller profits, you're creating a cash flow strategy that combines all the things you love about that appeal of credit spreads and you're simply combining it with the ability to adjust trades 
so that those ones that go against you aren't wiping out all of your profit. Look at what we've done. We've done it for a lot longer than this. I just, you can't feel the whole screen going way back here, but look at what we've done just in the last six years relative to what the markets have done. The S&P, which is, they, they call that the broader index. You know, sometimes the NASDAQ is a little higher or a little bit lower. Sometimes the Dow is a little bit higher. A little bit. The S&P is the real average of the markets. Look at our percentage returns relative to the S&P. Now, I want to point out one thing because I've, I've inadvertently confused people. This is people that were in these collar trades for one year only. This is the results of the same collar trade in its second year that it was open. Collar trades have this tendency to be a little bit slower getting off the ground, and then they become explosive in their profit over time. That's why people that were in these collar trades for the second year way outperformed the market averages. Our spread trade programs, our spread trades on average were more than doubling what the markets are doing. We only started sending out cash flow trades a couple of years. We tested these for several years to make absolutely certain that more frequency of trades, quicker in and out, grab smaller profits more frequently. We made sure that we felt confident in teaching these people. It's only been in the last couple of years that we've been sending these trades out. And, and I just got to ask you this question. If you're not currently outperforming the markets like this, what are you waiting for? The beautiful thing about all of this, these results that we have been getting for our students for the past, it, it goes back way more than these six years, but these results that we've been getting for our students are consistently outperforming the market averages. And this is not the overhyped pie in the sky stuff. This is not this, we're, we're not telling anyone we're gonna take a thousand dollars and turn it into a million dollars for you in a couple of years. And you're gonna be able to do YouTube videos from different parts of the world or, or from a private jet. That can't be duplicated, that can't be taught. You have to get flat out lucky to get those kind of results. And, and, and if, you, if you get lucky like that, great, I applaud you, fantastic. Be really careful because eventually people that are relying on the luckiest of circumstances it turns on them and they get wiped out. They lose it all as quickly as they made it. We are consistently beating the market averages by big percentages because what we're doing is duplicatable. Anyone can do this. Let me talk to you a little bit about the cost of not knowing. So we're, we're a few more weeks past this. This is, this is the screenshot from the last time I recorded one of these classes did a live presentation and then put the recording up. We had a student get into our program. I think now it's been closer to maybe, let's say about 15 weeks ago, okay? He had a $65,000 portfolio. He had it spread out in about six different positions. Um, some stock trades, some option only trades. If he would have left the positions in place that he showed us when he first got into our program, in this drop off that we had in May, he would have been down dramatically. 17% in his stock trades, another 70% in his option only trades. And instead of his portfolio taking nearly a $30,000 hit, he profited before. Now, now I know since this time, the markets have come back up and they're up a little bit higher. But in that first 10 weeks he was with us, Instead of losing money, which he would have done, and, and he'll he'll admit this to you. He said, man, if I hadn't found this when I was up here, I would have been wiped out down here. He would have taken a huge hit on his portfolio. Instead, at this point in time, he was up 15%. And only four or five weeks later, he's up almost 30% from where he started. And so my question to you is, how much is it worth to you to know you're not going to lose money again? I know you're probably high as a kite right now, metaphorically speaking. You're probably high as a kite right now because the markets have just recently, in the last few days, the Dow Jones and the S&P have hit new all-time highs. And every, every day that they finish to the upside now, they're probably testing and, and touching a new all-time high again. 
And that's a great feeling. And it's easy during that time to feel like, I know what's going on. I got it, Jeff, I got a handle on this. I know how to do this. I'm good. Everything is great. What are you going to do? It, it's not a matter of if something like this is going to happen again. It's a matter of what are you going to do when it happens again? Figure out a way to protect all those nice profits you have when we're sitting clear up here instead of trying to figure out a way to get it all back when we're down here again. Because we will be. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying this to try and scare anybody. I'm being real with you. I'm being truthful with you and sincere with you. Learn how to do this while things are good. So the next time we have a big drop like that, you're not stressed out about it. I got to finish up real quickly here because I, I, I try and keep this presentation under an hour and I'm, I, I know I'm pushing it. Everyone's heard this before, right? Feed a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for life. I love that saying, but I always struggled with what happens if the man starves while he's learning to fish. I've got a brother-in-law and I've got a really good friend. And my brother-in-law is a good friend too. I've got a brother-in-law and a really good friend. They are great fishermen. They know how to fish. Uh, they've tried to teach me and I've, I've gotten better. I've learned a few things over the years, but I'm telling you right now, if the three of us got dropped off in some wilderness remote area and, and we were left without food and the only way we could feed ourselves and stay alive is if we could fish, I'm telling you right now, if they did not feed me in the process of me learning and getting good, I would starve. I, I could eventually figure it out, but if they didn't keep me alive and feed me during the process, I would starve. Our education doesn't let anyone starve while they're learning this. From the very day people get involved in our education, we are sending them trades that they can put on in their portfolio and mirror exactly what we're doing. And that's what those results are that I showed you. Let me back up a little bit here. That's what this is. Oh, now I got to clean off all my marks off it. These are the trades we're sending out to our students so that while they're learning how to do it, we're keeping them fed. I, okay, I, I'm almost done. I'm wrapping up here. I am, I am absolutely convinced. If you'll take a close look at what we're doing and if the price works for you, and folks, when it comes to the price of our education, I, I almost at times feel guilty that we're selling it for as little as we are because compared to it, it might appear kind of cheap when you compare it to other things that are out there. I know there's companies that don't even cover half the material we cover in teaching people how to trade and they're charging 10, 15, uh, sometimes close to $20,000 for their full program. Our program is a fraction of that. And I absolutely believe that, that if you look at it and you decide it's a good fit, it's the last purchase you'll ever make in investment education. I'm, I'm so confident in that, that, that I give an unbelievable unconditional money back guarantee. And the only criteria I have ever used in measuring the success of safe option strategies is if my students are successful. I don't care how many people join my program each month. I want everyone who joins to be successful. We have three different programs that you, you, any one of these programs you could do standalone. You could learn how to call or trade and we offer a one year or a lifetime membership. You pay a little bit more up front, you get it for life. You never have to renew anything ever again. We have a spread trade, spread trade program, a one year or lifetime membership. The cash flow program, kind of similar to the spread trade, but like I said, these are faster trades. You're getting in and out a little bit quicker. The cash flow program is for people who have the ability to be in front of the market a little more frequently. None of these require you to be to sit in front of the market all day, every day. In fact, the trades that we send out to our students, we never send them out during the day when the market is open. We send them out when the market is closed so that every one of our students everywhere in the world, no matter what their job is, no matter what their schedule is, they have time to look at it and set it up for the next morning when we are going to get in. I can't, I can't do something during the middle of the day and say, why aren't you getting the same profit? Why didn't you make this trade when I sent you an email and you had 30 seconds to do it and get the same price that I did? I, I don't do that to people. If I send out a new trade, if I send out an adjustment to a trade, if I tell you it's time to close a trade, I'm telling you after the market is closed, 
and you get to do it at the same time I do it the next morning. And if you can't be in front of the market when it opens in the morning, guess what? Neither can 90% of my students. They, they set it up with limit orders and we, and we teach you and we show you how to do all of this. So while you're learning to do this and getting really good at it yourself, we're feeding you. You're gonna learn how to fish and you're gonna become the greatest fisherman that ever lived and we're gonna keep you fed at the same time. You can do any one of these programs by themselves, but we, we make an incredible discounted offer if you add all three of them together and do all. And I, I strongly rec – I really – the reason I give such a good discount if you put them all together is because learning all three of these is so valuable. Markets change and markets shift. There are times when our collar trades are not losing a penny, but our spread trades are making way more money. There's other times when the spread trades are for short periods of time are treading water a little bit and our collar trades are exploding and making phenomenal profits. I think it's important to learn all three, but if you're just interested in one of them, that's absolutely fine. We'll, we let you do that. Um, if you're listening to this presentation live right now and you want more information, now let me, let me on this what's next thing, I'm, I'm wrapping up right now. I, I am a huge believer in rewarding people that are proactive, okay? You've, you've already been very proactive in the sense that you took time to listen to this presentation. I'm going to ask you to do one more proactive step. For those of you that are with me live, I want you to send me an email or call me. Now, if, if it's after, you know, I, look, I know those of you that are on live, you're doing this, it's after regular work hours. If you call, you'll probably leave a message. If you email, it'll probably be first thing in the morning that we email you back. That's okay. Our, I, all that stuff gets time stamped. You know that. Anyone who will call or email within the next hour, I am going to offer you a deep discount over our regular prices. I believe our regular prices for our education are already very good, better than anything you're going to find out there. If you'll take one more proactive step and you'll email or call within the next hour, I'll send you out some pricing information that is a special discount only for those who viewed this program and acted within 24 hours. Now, for those of you that received some type of a promo piece and you went on, you clicked on it, and, and this is a recording, okay? Maybe you're two, three, four days after, um, after I recorded, after I did this live. Okay, our, our system marks when you went online to listen to the presentation. We, we know when you did it. If you will go just underneath the video box, so, so you've got on your computer, you're watching this video, and when the video ends, if you just scroll down below that, there is a really simple form you can fill out with your name, your email address. There's a spot to ask any question you have about anything, and then if you want someone to give you a call, you can put your phone number in. We, we will never call you if you don't put your phone number in there indicating that you want to call. But that's that's even easier than having to pull up your own email and typing in an email to info at safeoptionstrategy.com. If you'll just put your name and email address in that form below the video and click, please send me more information, we're also going to send you this special limited time discount. And folks, I discount this thing deeply for those individuals that are proactive. I give you a few days to look at it, to think about it. I, it it's not like Hey, you've got one hour and you can purchase and get a little bit of money off. I give you time to look at it and do your due diligence and make a decision if this is a right fit for you or not. And ask me any questions you want. I'm going to stop right now. For those of you that are live, I'm going to come back in about 30 seconds after I take a drink of water, answer any questions you have. For those, if you're listening to this as a recording, you can call and leave us a message. Again, you can just go down below the video box and fill out that simple little form requesting information and we will get back to you as soon as we can and we'll give you time to look at this and we'll offer you an incredible discount on this program that makes it, it probably, I don't even like to say it. I, I hate to use the word cheap because this is an incredibly valuable program. I, I, have, I have marketing people that tell me on a regular basis that I should be charging 15 to $20,000 for this program. I'm not, any, I'm not even close to that. I'm not even in the realm of that. Make an inquiry. There's no obligation to buy anything. I'll give you the best discounted price I can offer you. I'll give you time to think about it. And, and folks, uh, for those, if you're on the recording, this is goodbye. I wish you the best of luck. I hope we hear from you. For those of you that are live, 
Stay with me for just a second. I'll be right back and I'll answer your questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.